Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, election apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today we're talking about elections. The election year is upon us and what I want to do is share some apps that can help shed some light. Most of these apps are for uh, middle school and high school students. Uh, you, you can use some of them with younger kids but you really want to make sure that you're seeing if it's appropriate for the age level and it's the kind of discussion you want to have in your classroom. The first thing is start with the basics. So uh, there is a US Constitution app that is fantastic. Uh, I've talked about it before but it's been a really long time and it has the different sections so it has obviously the text and it has also the original and there are also notes that come with it about each piece so you can navigate through this app and find out the different section in the Constitution and of course all of the sections that talk about election. And for example, if we go to the presidency, you can see that all of the articles that are connected to the presidency come here and if you switch over to notes, it gives you the two notes and the two amendments that are connected to the presidency and that helps understand how the system works and I think that any discussion of elections has to start with what was the original intent, what does the Constitution say and how do we do it now, so what has changed as a result of the growth of a nation. The second app that I want to talk about is Electoral Map. An Electoral Map is really good if you're talking about prediction of what would happen this time, but you can actually go back in history. So this is, for example, the electoral map in the Bush versus Dukakis in 1988 elections. Uh, this is the Reagan sweep, the Reagan Mondale election, but you can also go to different years, so you can just slide through, go to the 1960 election, and look through different time points and see what has happened and then you can switch over and go to the current election and create a prediction based on your understanding of what's going on. So you can say California will go Democrat or um, Nebraska will go Democrat, not very likely but it might happen, who knows. So there are ways to manipulate this a graphic to actually create a prediction of the current elections or even follow along as you hear election results or look at polls and all of that. So this is a way to get a sense of what the electoral map is like and how many electoral votes each state has, etc. The next app that I want to talk about is called Citizen and Citizen is a simple compilation of the information from candidates website for this current election. You can see that there's a there's a photo of each one of the candidates and then when you click on it, let's click on Jeb Bush for example, you can see their positions on these specific issues and these are either from their speeches or from their website so there it is sourced and it is very very short so it gives you an overview of what are the main points for that candidate. This is called Citizen and it's a great little app to do a basic exploration. Uh, if your students are exploring different candidates uh, they definitely are encouraged to go beyond it but it's a good starting point. The next and last app I want to talk about is Real Clear Politics and Real Clear Politics aims to be a source for information about politics that is not partisan. Um, some people can argue about whether they are or aren't but they do have a lot of information for multiple polls and multiple issues uh, that have been explored by other people so you can see a battle for the Senate and what the uh, win margins are for different candidates for the next election cycle. You can see the job approval for Obama and you can look at other aspects right now on polls but you can switch to elections and see um, the predictions and the discussions around that. So there's a lot of information here 
a lot of ac quick access to meaningful information that helps if you want your students to explore these issues and I don't necessarily mean they have to do it in class but if you want them to do some exploration at home and bring some results this is a great starting point a lot of information right here so today on iPads in the classroom we talked about some apps that can help introduce and explore the topics of election which is a great thing to do in your civics class, in any social studies, or even in a language arts class, because students are engaged, they're interested, and uh, it's a great opportunity to teach them about the process. This is iPads in the Classroom, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>